Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering. In this YouTube channel, you are learning basic concepts and fundamentals of instrumentations, and that includes process measurement devices and its applications, control systems, the latest updates which is happening in and around industrial instrumentation and automation globally. So, if you are an instrumentation engineer or a budding student or even as expertise in the field of instrumentation field, you should subscribe to our channel to gain more knowledge and value addition. So, in this video, we are going to learn a lot about a rotary shaft wall bodies. Already, we have uploaded a video regarding a sliding stem global control wall body and we have explained each and every components and this video is similar to the same video as above but the only thing is this is a different type that's a rotary shaft control wall so how does the body of a rotary shaft control looks like and what are the components and its applications which I explained in this video come on let's get into this video uh, this is the basic uh, general arrangement of a rotary shaft uh, wall body and uh, basically uh, you all uh, should be knowing that the sliding stem globe control walls so this wall is being widely used in industries but at the same time we do use uh, uh, rotary shaft walls uh, that includes uh, ball walls butterfly walls rotary plug walls and etc so we uh, would be uh, today seeing the different components of the uh, rotary shaft wall bodies so what are different components you can see over here the wall shaft packing seat ring wall body wall plug retainer and bearing so let's uh, see one by one and you can see over here that the components which is available in the sliding stem control wall also gets included in this rotary shaft wall but still we do have a different uh, um, uh, components and its applications so you can see over here there is a wall body so this is a fluid boundary and this is the pressure containing component so this is where the process fluid uh, which has both the pressure temperature and uh, chemical properties of the of, uh, fluid which gets into this wall body and uh, this is called the trim we all know that trim is basically the process fluid which gets uh, wetted with the internal components of a control wall uh, body so we all know that rim refers to the wall plug seat and the uh, internal surface of the wall body so this is the seat ring and you could see over here the seat ring mates with the wall plug and the main application of the seat ring is to provide a shut off complete shut off when the wall is in the closed position so that is what the uh, applications of the seat ring and this is a retainer so the word itself explains self-explanatory so that retainer that is uh, locates and secures a, a seal or seat ring in the wall body so it just protects it just uh, um, secures a seal ring in the wall body okay and the next is the wall plug so we all know that the wall shaft you could see over here the wall shaft is the one that is transmitting the torque to the wall plug so uh, because we all know that the process fluid might be having uh, the piping pressure and uh, the wall uh, shaft should give the uh, required torque to, to the wall plug to act against the pressure and throttle the process fluid right and this is the bearing uh, sometimes uh, people call it as bushings so this is uh, uh, to locate and support the wall shaft so it just uh, locates and supports the wall shaft as the main applications of this bearing and finally we all know that is the packing and this packing uh, is used to arrest the process fluid leakage along with the wall shaft to the outer area of the control wall so this is basically the internal components of the uh, rotary shaft wall so this is a general arrangement and uh, uh, these components are uh, similar to the sliding stem controller but uh, the other components is like bearing, uh, bushing and these things are uh, getting different in this rotary shaft wall okay okay guys hope this rotary shaft control wall body uh, got a very good insight to your knowledge and if this video is very useful to you just hit the like button and share to instrument community 
and if you want to watch such instrumentation and control system videos do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering thank you